Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all how I plan for my ideal week. So let's first talk about what I mean when I talk about or when I speak of this ideal week. When I speak of this ideal week, I think about basically the things that I prioritize in any given week. And I like to prioritize working out and hanging out with my dog and family and friends and just kind of taking care of myself. I like to prioritize fun and friends and family and basically just having a good time if I'm being honest, but also being quite productive. Now, as I'm planning out this week, you'll see a lot of planning around my full-time job. And I, I mean, I feel like that perfectly describes it because I have to work 40 hours plus per week or whatever. I do have to plan around my job. And so basically for my job, honestly, I just go there and I do what I'm supposed to be doing. And then I feel like every day at 3, 3.30, whenever I'm getting off work, that's when my life truly begins. I get virtually nothing from going to work. I enjoy the work that I do. I always have, but honestly, that's just because I love children. So if you can place me in any setting with any kids and I'm going to have a good time and enjoy that because I love kids. I'm just one of those people. Some people like dogs, some people like kids, some people like this, some people like that. I just like kids. So short of going to work and doing a good job, I feel like that's all that there is to it in my life truly begins when I get home from work. Let me know if you relate. So anyway, let's talk about the plans that I have for this upcoming week. And I'm actually filming this on Sunday, April the 21st with plans of publishing this on April the 21st, mainly because the video is not that long. So what I was showing at the beginning of the video was my ideal week. So I, when I created my 2024 planner, because I create my own planners, I filled out this ideal weekly plan template and I update it occasionally because my schedule and what I think an ideal week looks like does change from season to season or you know quarter to quarter it doesn't really change too much too much I guess from from month to month it's really just all in accordance to what is going on in my life and what phase of life that I'm in but for the most part that is what I consider to be my ideal week Again, going to work is not ideal, but afterwards, each day, I just like to have a system of what I like to do and what I like to get accomplished. And I really like to balance fun with productivity, I guess you might say. So for me and my ideal week, my ideal week consists of, well, actually, actually, let's talk about it right now. On Mondays, I go to work. Again, not ideal, but we got a plan for it. And then I come home and then I film a YouTube video. Now, here's the thing. Once upon a time in life, I did try to do filming on the weekends and I tried to film my two videos for the next week on the weekend. And I'm not mad at that process. Obviously I'm filming right now because I've been lazy for the last several days and busy, busy and lazy. <laughs> when I'm busy, then I wanna be lazy. So it's just not a good combination. Plus I'm a procrastinator, but there was a time where I was filming and getting all of my recording and stuff done on the weekends. But that honestly is kind of annoying because then I'm trying to figure out how to balance family time, friend time, faith stuff. And I, it's just very difficult. So I've just resorted to filming and editing and trying to do all of it, all of what I consider to be work or side hustling or whatever throughout the week. So in an ideal work, in an ideal world, I go to work on Monday and then I come home and then I film a video. On Tuesday, I edit the video. And then ideally, I would repeat that process for Wednesday and Thursday with publishing the video that I filmed on Monday on Wednesday and publishing the video that I would film on Thursday on Saturday. But again, sometimes I get pretty jammed up. I'm really good with sticking to the Monday and the Tuesday, but <laughs> after that, it kind of goes downhill. As you can see for this week, I'm actually going to line dancing. So that kind of gets, and I'm going on a date with a friend so that those things, those activities get in the way of me filming. So I have to push back filming and I'm likely going to do that on the weekend. Again, I have time to do it on the weekend. I just really like having my weekends to myself 
just like this past weekend, my husband and I got with my mother-in-law and her friend who, who is like an aunt to us. And we went out and we spent pretty much the whole day just out and about having a good time. And so I like to be able to do those types of things. Today I was in a meeting that lasted Mm, two and a half hours and now and then, then I filmed the video now I'm doing this voiceover so I'm just saying I like to leave my weekends open so that I can participate in more spontaneity I guess if you will I like to balance productivity with spontaneity anyway that's what my ideal week looks like so I just really like to reference that ideal weekly plan to try to put together a plan that very much resembles that for the week. So this is not a daunting process. It's not very difficult. Filming this in real time took me 30 minutes to plan out my week and to plan it out in accordance to my values and beliefs and priorities, which is what my ideal weekly plan consists of. So it doesn't take that long, but I just try to make sure that I am being I don't know what the word is. I like intentional, I guess intentional when I'm planning out my week. So I just wanted to throw that out there, throw that out there and to share it. Honestly, I came here mainly to talk rather than to kind of walk you through how I'm planning and what I'm planning and to do uh, like tips and stuff for good notes. I really just wanted to share what my ideal weekly plan consisted of because I felt like that was important to talk about as I am planning. But after I map out what my week looks like and I normally 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 like to do that per hour, I then move on to planning out my tasks. And what I want to share with you before ending this video is that when I'm planning out my tasks, I like to plan out the things that I absolutely need to get done on the personal side of things and then on the work side of things. And work consists of, for me, my full-time job, although I don't plan all of the full-time job things in here because I have a paper planner for my full-time job so I can be HIPAA compliant and FERPA compliant, truthfully. Otherwise, I would plan out my work stuff in my digital planner potentially. So I've just always used a paper planner for those reasons and that's just what I do. But anyway, um, work consists of my full-time job and also my side hustle stuff like social media and then anything I'm doing that is also work in, I guess work in nature, but is it my full-time job or social media? So currently I'm helping plan out some things for the Financial Social Work Collaborative, which I am a part of. And then I'm also helping plan out some stuff for this digital planner conference. And I have tasks and to-dos associated with those things. And then that's pretty much it. So I like to put all of that on the work section and I'll separate them by category. And then afterwards I'll go in and I will add I'll kind of combine them all so that there's no spacing. That's just a thing that I like to do. And for the personal side of things, if I feel like on the personal side of things, I don't have too much to do, then I will reference my master to-do list and I will put some things on the list from the master to-do list. So one thing that is on the master to-do list is scheduling my husband's dental appointment and we have some home things to do and other things to do. Basically the things that I've been procrastinating on. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing and I will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye guys.